Hey everybody, welcome to Rebel Junk. My name is Erin. I buy and flip unloved and unwanted junk for a profit. So if that's something that interests you, please stick around. Today we're going to talk about sales in April and May that were $20 and over. Okay, so I want to start um, at the $20 level and then we'll go up in price from there. These aren't necessarily an exact price order, but just in general, we're going lowest to highest. Uh, so this first one was one of the items in an auction challenge that I participated in on YouTube. And it sold for $20.50. So this is a neon striped turtle chalkware piggy bank. If you find these, definitely pick them up. They do sell fairly frequently. Most of them are going to have chips and damage on them. They're just so soft and brittle. Um, if you do find them and they have some small defects, I would still pick them up. Next up was a set of teaching textbooks on CD and they sold for $20. I do charge shipping on about 99% of my items. If I end up with something that's in a really competitive market, where everybody else has free shipping, I'll do free shipping, but it doesn't happen very often. So just go ahead and assume that um, everything I'm showing you today was plus shipping, unless I let you know that it was free shipping. Um, and this did go medium mail for just a couple bucks. Um, up next is a sale at $19.99, which is pretty darn close to $20. So I did include those in here. This was a Little Tykes Dollhouse Mini Cozy Coupe car, sold for $20. This was not in excellent condition. I would call it good condition, and it still sold for $20, even when I noted the defects in the listing. So pieces from the Little Tykes Dollhouse uh, generally will sell. I've also sold a baby cradle, and I think it was a stroller that was with it, but they had um, teeth marks in them from like, I'm assuming a dog. <laughs> because they're pretty sturdy plastic um, and even with that kind of damage those pieces still sold so definitely something to keep an eye out for next this was an item that i got in an auction lot this was not the item that i was trying to purchase there was uh, some dollhouse furniture and this was in the bottom of the box but it was a mid-century modern wooden cross to me it looks like something that was handmade but when i looked it up there were several for sale so maybe it was um, something that was manufactured um, in mass quantities it had gold strings on it wrapped around a nail which to me again just looked it looks like a craft project but it did sell for the 20 dollar price point up next i had a little bit of difficulty with this item um i researched and researched and researched we just couldn't quite nail down exactly what this was it was some sort of stained glass and it wasn't very big just a couple inches long and the only one i could find similar in google um, search because there was nothing on ebay to compare it to um, had sold in britain for 450 dollars but i just couldn't see that this item <laughs> would sell for that much so i listed it for 20 and somebody bought it next was a set of miniatures again little just a couple inches tall set of three amulets I wasn't quite sure what they were. They were definitely ceramic and wood um, and had some glaze on them. But again, I couldn't find any comparables. So $20 price points, one that I like. So I will throw it out there multiple times if I'm in an unknown category. I have very little invested in most of my inventory. Typically, I aim for a dollar or less. Again, this one too, AT&T Marathon Advertising. Um, kind of Swiss Army type knife sold for $20 plus shipping. A vintage West Germany advent calendar it, i think these are from the either late 60s or early 70s i've got a stack of them again dollar piece and they're selling for 20 plus shipping next is a teeny tiny i mean i think it was an inch and a half long um vintage german keiko i think is how it's pronounced toddler baby so if you see any dollhouse sized um characters definitely give a look for them this was a branded name and it was stamped on the back and it sold for 20 dollars for just one little baby <laughs> Um, the baby did have its original clothes on, by the way, so I think that helped in the sale. It was in good condition. This next piece, I've been selling off these railroad accessories for quite a while. Quite a while. Here is another set of them. So it was a pair of um, scenics, and they had a similar theme, parks and just general things that you'd see along the sidewalk. And so that set sold for $20 in shipping. 
next dollhouse pieces it was like jello and soap and board games and magazines just little miniatures typically you could find them at a hobby store probably in a package with like two or three things in the package i lotted these all together there was one piece that was actually a brooch or a pin but it was a miniature cuckoo clock and so i went ahead and lumped it all in there with that it was about the size you would use in a dollhouse anyhow twenty dollars in shipping this piece I want to um, mention, you probably look out for these. If you ever see a collection of miniatures where somebody is selling, um, you know, a whole bunch of stuff, take a look. Take a minute to stop and look at the miniatures, like those amulets we saw earlier. This piece is actually a signed piece of artist pottery, and it sold for $20 plus shipping, and it was one inch. I mean, super, super easy. I'm sending these out in jewelry boxes and a padded mailer, and just, you know, out in the mail for a couple bucks. Um, but you know keep an eye out for miniatures there's definitely money to be made there next was a book um, I don't sell too many books but I have a handful that came in a lot from an auction this one sold for $24.99 it was the store by T.S. Stribling and it was the 1932 hardcover edition it was not a first edition though by the way I did a little bit of research to make sure because that is the year that it was printed next up is a miscellaneous set of children's willow print tea pieces so it wasn't a complete set it was a little bit of this and a little bit of that and that did sell for twenty dollars plus shipping next is a trinket dish princess house crystal twenty dollars in shipping and a piece of pottery so this was from what i could figure a butter jar but i'm not sure it was hand painted it was signed i couldn't find anything out about the artist but i did mention that in the listing twenty dollars in shipping um, when I bought this, it was a couple dollars, maybe three at the Goodwill, but I just, it had a nice weight to it. It had a solid glaze on it. This salt glaze with the gray background and the blue paint has been very popular lately. Up next was a vintage drink dialer and it went for $20 plus shipping. So vintage uh, barware right now is pretty hot. So keep an eye out for those, especially something mid-century modern looking. This next trinket dish was in a lot that I purchased at an auction. It is the Lovebirds Sapphire Memory Box. I don't know if it's a trinket box or if it is a memory box or an urn. So I listed all those possibilities in the title, $21.99 in shipping. Next, this order would not have been $20 except that the buyer um, purchased two items together for a total of 27. Again, pieces of the um, HO size train accessories. These were tanks. Um, they were vintage from a store in Germany. So I don't know if that helped the price or not. I just looked up comps and price them according to that but together they were 27. This was um an estate sale. I was going through the garage, brand new box of golf balls, went ahead and picked them up for just a buck. Whole package together sold for $19.99 in shipping. If you ever have questions about uh, the items that you're seeing that I sold, where I got them, why I picked them up, things like that, feel free to put those in the comments down below. I do try and uh, reply to any questions down there. Next up is another set of the teaching textbooks. This one went a little bit higher. It was a little bit harder math on this one. This was a pre-calculus set and it sold for $30 plus the media mail shipping. Next is a pair of tiles from Moravian, I think is how you say it, pottery. They were marked on the back from Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And the pair sold for $24.99 plus shipping. It was the uh, Mayflower and the Tree of Life that were printed on these. This pair surprised me. Um, I guess one because I didn't think it was a popular color and I didn't think it was a popular item. So not too many people are using candlesticks anymore, although they do sell from time to time. Uh, these were vintage Indiana glass sunflower candlestick holders. If you look up the Indiana glass sunflower print, there are um, a lot available on eBay, but there's also a large amount that have sold. So I think this is a popular um, print, not print, um, shape, I guess, style right now. So watch out for that Indiana glass um, sunflower. I can't remember off the top of my head if this comes in other colors, but I think it does. Up next was a purse from Montana Silversmiths, and it did have a piece of hair on leather on the front, plus a silver plaque and a gemstone heart on the front. It was super cute and it sold for $25.19 plus shipping. So I think that must've been on sale in my store with the price with the 19 cents at the end. Next was a Royal Kendall May Lily of the Valley teacup. Watch out for Lily of the Valley teacups because I've found this from several brands and I've sold them all. So anytime I have Lily of the Valley teacups, they are selling um, with multiple brands. So if you find anything like that, look it up and see how well they're doing. So this one 
uh, went for $24.99 plus shipping. Again, I saw a lot of vintage glass <laughs> and pottery, so here's another set. These are vintage Viking uh, lotus-shaped bowls, and these were the, um, the lower height. So there's some that were lower and some that are higher, and I do have um, one of the higher ones, but that one is still in my store. This pair sold for $19.99 plus shipping, and there are multiple colors of these. This one is a set of jockey underwear. These are vintage pieces. They were brand new in the package. It was a set of three boxer briefs from $19.99, and they sold for $30, $29.99 plus shipping. So, you know, we have a lot of technology these days, and a lot of it's on our phones, um, but I'm finding I can still sell some vintage gadgets even though what they do has been replaced a lot by what's on our phones and this is an example of that so this was a vintage casio quartz world world time alarm clock um, i did have to replace the battery in it to make sure that it worked but um, i've been doing a lot of battery replacements on um, these small electronics plus watches so i have those tools here very easy to do so it went for 34.99 plus shipping very small easy to ship love those Oh, this, um, shout out to Dante at Prison to Profit. I won a reseller's prize box off of one of his shows. Uh, back, I think it was back in December when him and Derek were giving away a lot of stuff for a lot of days. Um, I, a wonderful box. I have made a lot of money and I'm very appreciative of this. Um, so this was zero cost to me. It was a Windows 7 Pro Professional um, I think it's a CD-ROM inside the envelope. I'm not even really sure exactly <laughs> what it was, but I looked up comps and just uh, copied one of the other listings out there. But this one sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next, another piece of art glass. Um, I could not attribute this to anybody in particular or any studio, so it just went listed as art glass. And it was a stretch Schwann. <laughs> stretch swan bowl it was a good size but sold for 28.99 plus shipping um up next is a pair of men's berries i cannot remember where i picked these up but i'm gonna guess that i paid six dollars or less for them because i can't imagine i would have paid much more but they did sell for 29.99 plus shipping the color of these shoes i could not find in any other listing on ebay and so i was just kind of take a stab in the dark there uh, what to list those for. This piece was my first experience shipping um, international standard rate. I had it listed as global shipping program and the buyer asked if there was any way I could get a lower shipping cost for them. And because the doll did not weigh that much, um, it was eligible to go in the international standard shipping. It arrived, they were very happy. It worked out. I'm really glad. I was kind of nervous. Um, because typically I do global shipping program, which is super easy. Cabbage Patch Kid told, sold for $24.99, um, again, plus the cost of shipping. Up next, this is an item that you guys may have seen me clean on one of my live shows. This dinosaur had several spots on it, and I cleaned it up with Windex. It does wonders for spot cleaning plush toys, so keep that in mind. Um, this was a harder to find large pillow pet dinosaur triceratops. <laughs> and it was sold at $29.99 plus shipping. So I have a large lot of Princess House items, um, everything from these figurines to dishes and canisters and things like that. And this um, figurine, it was a fairly good size. However, I didn't have the base for it. So if you find one of these and it has the wooden base, it does go for more, but this one went for $32.99 plus shipping. This one went international shipping through the Global Shipping Program, $19.99 for a small, um, made in Japan trinket music box. So I'm not sure what um, the reason is for these selling very well, but they do. So keep an eye out for them. Trinket boxes and music boxes, by the way, because you'll see another music box coming up. Next was a lot of 35 miniature shoes. And these remind me of something that you would pick up at the dollar store. And I had a buyer message me and said, hey, I have a brick and mortar store. Can I get a better deal on these? Because I probably can't sell all of them. So I'm assuming she must have zoomed in on some of the pictures and decided some of them weren't um, sellable in her shop, which was fine. I probably paid a couple bucks at an auction for the whole lot. And so she bought it for $30 in shipping. I was glad to see it go. It was taking up a lot of space, honestly. So I had never heard of this next brand of pottery. I found it at my local restore. So this is called Salmon Falls Stoneware. So if you ever find that, definitely look up. There's a lot of items that they made and some of them sell better than others. This sold fairly quickly within a day. And it was a set of six napkin rings with the salt glaze and the blueberries. The blueberries come in 
couple different um, color options so keep an eye out when you're doing your comps make sure you're looking at the right pattern and colors but this set of six sold for $34.99 plus shipping um, next was another global shipping program sale and it was a creative memories lot of two file mates so some storage for a scrapbooker sold for $25.19 I must have had those on sale in the store uh, children's tea sets I've been selling a lot of these lately keep an eye out for those and look up the comps this one was just generic it didn't have a brand name on it I had to search by a description of the print on the pieces however it was a fairly full set and it did have some accessories so it sold for $35.99 in shipping um this origami owl lot was kind of remnants and pieces of a larger lot that i had picked up last summer i paid 50 dollars for the whole lot i had sold tons of pieces already and i just wanted to be done with the rest of it so i lotted them all up took a best offer at 40 and it shipped out for 11.95 Got another piece from my reseller's box that I won from Dante at Prison to Profit. A set of Cylinder Works Hollow Lavender Ear Candling Sticks and they sold for $50. Uh, pretty quickly too, I think within a couple days. Another lot of vintage jockey underwear. This time it is only two pairs and they were uh, nylon briefs and sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Keep an eye out for new old stock underwear. <laughs> <laughs> men's and women's by the way up next was a venetian murano glass pelican this one did have a sticker on it that helped me to identify it which i greatly appreciated the buyer paid 45 dollars plus shipping um, another example of old technology that's still selling this was a brand new eight inch digital picture frame however it was using older smaller sd cards so hopefully the buyer was aware of what they were purchasing and i'm assuming they are it went global shipping program um up next i had a new inbox Waterford lead crystal, crystal dolman footed bowl. These were selling pretty regularly at good prices. This one uh, in particular went for $59.99 plus shipping. Uh, international sales, some more of the princess house pieces. These were hot beverage mugs. The set of four sold for $44.99 plus shipping. A lot of these pieces that I have of princess house are with a box. However, the boxes are in very poor condition and I am noting that in the listing so the buyer is aware. Uh, this next piece, I had a lot of trouble um, finding comparable items. This particular piece, I did not find an exact comp for it. Um, the company is called Val St. Lambert, and it is a glass company, and they typically do colored glass that's cut to clear. This looked like a more modern piece. However, it did have an actual signature etched into the bottom. I had it listed, I think, at 85. Took a best offer at 60. The buyer and I did go back and forth quite a bit. Um, I just was you know, I, I felt pretty confident in my $80 price, but um, when somebody's offering 60 on an item that I've only got maybe $5 invested in, I went ahead and took that one. Princess House Tiger. This one sold at $64.99 plus shipping. Again, if you find these with the wooden base, they sell for more. Uh, another children's tea set. This was a complete set with the box. So it had a little cabinet and all the dishes were in good condition. It sold for $68.99 plus shipping. And that one sold pretty quickly. I, I think that one sold within a couple days. And here's the music box I kind of mentioned earlier. It actually was a keychain and it was still in the original packaging and it worked. And there was no... Uh, evidence of any kind of use on it. It was in excellent condition. Sold for $85 plus shipping. Um, again, small pocket keychain. Beautiful music. Uh, my biggest sale in April and March was a $150 sale on a tire pressure monitoring system. Again, um, shout out to Dante. So this was in the reseller box that I won from him. There have been a lot of amazing pieces in there. And Actually, now that I think about it, I think I won two prizes from him at two different times. This is a culmination of both of those prizes. That is it. So for March and April, I also made sales that were less than $20. I try not to sell anything that's less than 10, but sometimes I definitely sell items for less than 10. I prefer not to. I'm, if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. If you have questions again, please let me know. Thursday nights, I am live with Gail at Small Town Picker and we alternate her channel and my channel. It is on her channel next week, Thursday at 7 p.m. Hope you can join us for that. Take care till next time.